Greetings Exiles, today we're going to talk about how to craft a nice minus cost chest for your attack build. I will be talking at a mid-tier player's vocabulary level, explaining some of the details, but I do expect you to have somewhat of a basic understanding of crafting in this video. Hopefully one day I'll have the time to create a series of beginner crafting guides. This guide became necessary because I was attempting to craft an upgrade for my Berserker when this happened. Oh my god, what the Yo, this is this is This is mirror tier. Although recreating something like that is practically impossible. I have been getting a lot of body armor crafting questions on stream, so I figured I would make a guide. Don't worry, the Berserker dual wield video is still coming soon. Today's goal is to craft a body armor that has a decent amount of life and this special fossil only mod. Socketed attacks have minus 15 to total mana cost. The reason I like this mod is because it can drastically reduce the cost of attacks, making certain skills significantly more viable while still reserving a lot of mana. Some attacks can get over 15 mana per attack on a 6 link and reducing that by 15 is a big deal. The way the game calculates skill mana cost is that you take the base skill cost that you find on the gem, then multiply that by each support gem modifier, and then multiply that by each cost reduction source you have, and then finally reduce that sum by any flat reduction you have. Total cost can never be negative, but you can have zero mana cost skills. To start, let's talk about our crafting base. I'm using an item level 100 Astral Plate that I've been beast splitting for the majority of the league. It's already 6 linked and has 3 white sockets and 30% quality. Astral Plate is hands down the best base for my purposes because I don't care about armor, evasion, or ES and the all resist really pushes this base head and shoulders above any other option. Getting a base exactly like this is possible for about two and a half exalted orbs. You don't have to have something as nice as this, but I'd highly recommend starting at least with an item level 86 chest to hit the tier one life roll and already six linked. Now, there are a few tiers to crafting this sort of chest with increasing costs. It's rather simple to make a chest that has life and minus cost using a few fossils. I've had a great deal of success using pristine and serrated together at hitting life rolls and minus cost. If instead you want something a bit meatier, I'd recommend using a Hunter's Exalted Orb to influence your base before we start crafting. Currently these orbs are going for about 458 chaos or 2.5 exalts, so that increases your base cost to about 5 exalts. The reason we're looking at hunter chests is that there are several good mods that you can get. For prefixes, percent life and an additional curse are both very nice, and even physical damage taken as chaos isn't that bad if you're already capping your chaos res for metamorphs. For suffixes, attacks have critical strike mod is really great because it adds to your base crit, which will in turn lead to a very high critical strike chance if you're scaling it. So let's get down to crafting. You're going to want a few potent resonators and an equal amount of pristine and serrated fossils. Potent resonators run for about 3 to 4 chaos a pop, or you can get them from Nico for 750 azure each. Serrated fossils are a bit pricey at 23 chaos each, and pristine are currently going for 4 chaos. Totaling up 10 tries might cost you about 2 exalts worth of materials. Added to the 5 exalts of our base, that brings us to a total cost of 7 exalts, which is less than the price of a poorly rolled chest with life minus cost and crit. Now, yes, it's true, you may not hit a good chest in 10 tries, and you probably won't get as lucky as I did in 6, but that's the appeal of crafting. But even if you're not that lucky, it's likely that you can still make a pretty nice chest for less than what you would have paid if you had tried to buy it directly. Now. I know what you're thinking, but Don, what about the Enemies Explodes mod? 
Yes, the new Crusader Enemies Explodes prefix is really nice, especially for dealing with Impale Base Build's most feared enemy, the dreaded Porcupine! The big problem with this mod is its waiting. Currently this mod is in a tiny 25 waiting, so it is extremely hard to hit, especially if you consider that other mods will have thousands of waiting comparatively. Even when using four fossils to try and isolate the explode mod is rather easy to miss. This all spells trouble for crafting a minus cost chest that also has explode mod. Likely, the best option would be to take any chest that already has the explodes mod and use an awakener's orb to merge it onto a chest that has an influence mod you want, such as attacks have critical strike chance. Since delve mods, including minus cost, do not count as influence mods, you will be unable to receive them as a result of awakener orb craft. If you really want to swing for the fences on a crusader hunter chest, here's possibly the best fossil combination, but it's still really rare. If you happen to craft something amazing, let me know in the comments or stop by the stream at twitch.tv slash donthecrown.